The best known cattlemen to settle in Palo Pinto County were Oliver Loving and Charles Goodnight. Loving hung his hat close by Pleasant Valley, which afterwards became Loving's Valley. Now a blinking traffic light marks the spot by the intersection of highways 281 and 254. Oliver Loving's ranch was about a mile and a half northeast of where Theopolis Sales and his brother-in-law chose to open a store and blacksmith shop. Behind the store, they ran one of the first post offices in the county. In 1859, Oliver Loving and John Durkee drove the first cattle from Texas up to Quincy, Illinois via Oklahoma Territory to the Eastern Markets. A few months later, he headed west to Colorado to supply beef to gold miners in Denver. This is, and I believe Thelma Hart was the one that uh, uh, came up with the slogan, the cradle of the cattle industry. The cattle industry as we know it in America today started in Palo Pinto County. It wasn't long before Loving and Goodnight set their sights further afield. In 1866, Goodnight bid farewell to his mother before he and Loving drove their first herd of longhorns over the Butterfield Mail Route to Fort Sumner, New Mexico. Today this route is known as the famous Goodnight Loving Trail. In 1866, Slaughter met with Loving's son James and Colonel Kit Carter to discuss cattle rustling by Anglos and Indians, which was threatening the success of the open ranges. This meeting led to the organization of the Stock Raisers Association of Northwest Texas, which later evolved into the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association, the world's leading cattlemen organization. In 